Welcome to today's computer classes. Today we are going to see about the third part of uh, MS Word. We are going to study about bookmark, hyperlink, object linking and embedding, source application, destination application, word arch, clip arch. What is a bookmark? A bookmark is a location in your document that you name for further reference. Bookmarks are used to mark locations of importance by name in a lengthy document. When you are reading a book and uh, you want to take a break, but you want to come to know where you have left out last time. So you keep a mark over there in a manual book. So, the similar manner in a lengthy document of Gamma's Word, when you keep marks on locations with certain names, that marks are known as bookmarks. So, once again, what is a bookmark? A bookmark is a location in your document that you name for further reference and the bookmarks are used to mark locations of importance by name in a lengthy document. The next definition is hyperlink. Hyperlink refers to text or graphics that appear underlined which when click would display a different part of the same file or even a different file or a file of a different type. It is a difficult stuff. There are three parts associated with it. The first one is that when you click on a on a hyperlink, it displays a different part of the same file. Okay, if it is a lengthy document, when you click on a hyperlink, it leads to some other part of a document. The second one, even a different file. Hyperme hyperlink sometimes open up a different file of the same type. That means if you have a word file and when you uh, click on a hyperlink another word file opens up. That is a different file and uh, the third area is a file of a different type. When you click on a hyperlink if a picture opens it is a different type of file or if a excel file opens it is a different type of file and how does hyperlink appears hyperlink appears just like blue in color and it could be text or graphics word art and clip art what is the difference between a word art and a clip art Word art is text styling utility which allows to create stylized text with various special effects such as textures, outlines and many other manipulations. Clip art on the other hand are graphic arts made on images to illustrate an idea in a media. Most probably you have seen these two. but. Many of you may not be knowing how to use it. We will see it after a few minutes. Headers and footer. A header is a section of a document that appears in the top margin and a uh, header gives information about the document name, author's name and so on. A footer is a section of the document that appears in the bottom margin of each page and usually information like page number, date and so on are being inserted in the few footers. Another major area is object linking and embedding. Object linking and embedding or OLA is a special feature by which the object created in one application is included or inserted into another application. Look here, if you want if you have created a picture in MS Paint and if you want to bring it into MS Word and that need to be a part of the part of the document how to do it and usual case for uh, for to make this current concept understanding I used to explain a uh, scenario or an example a tailor who is uh, uh, going to uh, stitch a shirt sometimes uses 
a piece from the pan piece to make a pocket out of it. The pan piece is having a different property, different thickness, uh, different uh, color, pattern, etc. But after stitching, the pan piece is the pocket and the, the pan piece becomes part of the shirt. Okay? In such case, in object linking and embedding, there are two cases. One is by linking an uh, object to the file and the second one is embedding it. And in this case, there are there must be two applications. Just like the pan piece and the shirt piece, there must be two applications. The first is the application in which where the object is really created. That are, such an application is called source application. Or when you define source application, source application is the application in which the object is originally created. Second one is destination application. The destination application is the application in which we are inserting the object and it becomes part of the document or file. We will see all this in detail. And macros. What are macros? A macro is a way to automate a task that you perform repeatedly or on a regular basis. It is a series of commands and actions that can be stored and run whenever you need to perform the task. This is also a procedure and how to record a macro and how to execute a macro. Macros are first recorded in specific names and then you have to run the macro to get it executed. You will see the procedures, all the procedures in this. What all things we studied? We studied about um, bookmarks and hyperlinks. It is also a procedure. We are moving back to uh, we are moving back to the word file and we want to uh, press F1 to get the help and you will get different topics or topics over there the basic help topics home I am going to move to the home home button basic help and uh, I am going to search for something tools look here there are different tools in a professional is under equation tool and i want to get a get a get something pasted over here i'm going to open this oh, look here all these lines which you see are hyperlinks look here it is blue in color when you move to move the move the cursor to the any of the blue lined uh, sentences it becomes underlined and the cursor turn, uh, turns it into uh, a hand sign it shows that it, uh, it is a hyperlink all these are hyperlinks and when you click on the hyperlink you move to another uh, another page or another another area look here this is what happens and i am going to copy this control all and control c control a is control, uh, control c and minimize it and I have pasted it. Control V. Again and again I am pasting it. Look here. Now it becomes a lengthy document with about, uh, look here, it is about seven pages. To easily create a lengthy document, I did it. And what, what do you want to do? Uh, do the second stuff. I want to make it uh, bookmarks in it. So what do you what to do? Professional is under equation tools and tools. Tools bar tools. Click inside an equation. I am just selecting click ins inside an equation or keeping some uh, keeping the cursor somewhere here. Oh here is how to find it. And insert go to bookmarks. What is bookmark? Here it is bookmark. And now add delete and go to are they and now uh, th there is an option of top here i'm giving something else find i'm giving a name for the bookmark how to find 